In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your images alive. I will show you how to use Warper tool in Fusion page. After learning this easy effect today, you should be able to create your image slideshow or video clip with still images more creative and vivid than ever before. What I see? Right, let's see today's intro first and then jump into edit page. Welcome back to another tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17. Today I'm going to show you how to use Warper tool on still images in DaVinci Resolve 17 free version. So let's jump into Media Pool, grab a still, so image, and put it on our timeline. You can see that it's a bit smaller than it should be, so let's highlight the clip of image, go to Inspector, and, we, and we're going to increase the size a little bit like this so let's close inspector and let's jump into the fusion page in fusion page as usual you will see this media in and media out let's go to media in and copy this uh, image so press ctrl c move your cursor away click here somewhere and press ctrl v now we have copy of this image so Let's connect this with original and we're gonna get this merge node here. So let's highlight this copy 1.1 and let's select the polygon tool. Now when we have this polygon tool, let's invert the image and uh, we, what we're gonna see now, so let's click on, on the first screen. So we have to decide where we're gonna put these nodes or these uh, pinpoints that we would like to animate. So we have to create a mask around it. Don't need to be like very accurate. You just play a little bit. Don't go uh, too far out or too far in. So just play, you can go faster. You don't need to worry about because uh, all this, it will be animated. So let's do it like this. You can, of course, if you want, you can basically uh, uh, change it. I'll change it later. So we can move this one. And let's finish it here. And we can change this a little bit. You can also add note if you want to. So. It's a lot of options. So here we, we have this mask. So let's tick off the invert. Now we have this uh, mask here. So let's move it like this. And let's go back to media 1.1. Press shift and spacebar and just type warper and press enter and you have warper here. So let's go to Warper's tool and you can see here that in controls you have these different uh, uh, commands. So let's go to on-screen controls. We're going to increase a little bit the size of it so that we will be able to see all the uh, these pinpoints that we, we will put it in. So let's start and put in. It doesn't matter really where you're going to put it more, maybe more the better or not even that, so you can add it uh, while you do. You will see later that we can basically add them at any time. So don't put it too much. Just put them this, like, like this, some, something like this. And then just begin to stretch the notes or these pinpoints just go crazy a little bit so you can play with that you don't need to worry so on the right hand side you, you, you see on the right hand side screen you can see this crazy movement that we have uh, 
so my computer gets alive, uh, the fans are working hard, so the computer is working hard as well. So now we have moved all the, the pinpoints that we have. So next thing is let's go and keyframe this uh, image and we're gonna do it like so let's close first this and we have just uh, one screen so let's put the playhead on the beginning to zero and let's keyframe the warp scale so once you have done this just pull the warp scale node to zero and uh, let's put the playhead to the end and put it back to zero or you can go even a bit more than zero so uh, sorry one and uh, that's basically it we have uh, done the effect so we can go to edit page and we can wait that uh, computer just check the, the clip and one more thing we can do because uh, otherwise we're gonna see the edge of the mask so let's jump back to edit uh, uh, fusion page and let's go to polygon and let's change the soft edge so a little bit not too much and you can change also the border width not too much so that's it so let's jump back to edit page and let's play it through uh, we have to wait to this uh, blue line so that means the computer has done his job so let's go to full screen and let's observe this effect that's it for today if you have any questions regarding this effect uh, just let me know down in comments uh, otherwise uh, see you next time nice and easy as usual if you find this tutorial helpful hit that thumbs up leave your feedback suggestion or comments below and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to watch my other tutorials as well till next time have a good one